1513, Spanish explorer Juan Ponce de Leon first sights land in what is now the United States state of Florida. Juan Ponce de Leon, was a Spanish explorer and conquistador known for leading the first official European expedition to Florida and serving as the first governor of Puerto Rico. He was born in San Hervas de Campos, Valladolid, Spain in 1474. In 1513, Ponce de Leon led the first known European expedition to La Florida, which he named during his first voyage to the area. He landed somewhere along Florida's east coast, then charted the Atlantic coast down to the Florida Keys and north along the Gulf Coast, perhaps as far as Charlotte Harbor. On April 2, 1800, Ludwig van Beethoven leads the premiere of his first symphony in Vienna. Ludwig van Beethoven was a German composer and pianist. Beethoven remains one of the most admired composers in the history of Western music. His works rank amongst the most performed of the classical music repertoire. The premiere took place on April 2, 1800, at the KK Hofeter Naxx der Berg in Vienna. Most sources agree that the concert program also included Beethoven's septet, as well as a symphony by Mozart, but there's some disagreement as to whether the remainder of the program included excerpts from Haydn's Oratorio The Creation or from The Seasons and whether Beethoven's own piano concerto No. 1 or No. 2 was performed. This concert effectively served to announce Beethoven's talents to Vienna. In 1902, the Electric Theater was the first full-time movie theater opens in Los Angeles, in the United States. Tally's Electric Theater is listed as the first permanent movie theater designed specifically for the exhibition of films. It was opened in the spring of 1902 by Thomas Lincoln Tally in Los Angeles. In later years, Tally had the idea to create an organization of exhibitors, one from each major city, which would buy, or make, and distribute their own films. He presented his idea to another exhibitor, John D. Williams of West Virginia, who liked the idea and combined forces with Tally. They named their new company First National Exhibitors Circuit. The organization's first office was two small rooms at 18 East 41st Street, and their motto proclaimed, the good guys get, by getting together. On April 2, 1917, the United States President, Woodrow Wilson asks the U.S. Congress for a declaration of war on Germany. The United States initially remained neutral, though even while neutral it became an important supplier of war material to the Allies. Eventually, after the sinking of American merchant ships by German submarines, the declaration by Germany that its navy would resume unrestricted attacks on neutral shipping, and the revelation that Germany was trying to incite Mexico to initiate war against the United States, the U.S. declared war on Germany on April 6, 1917. Trained American forces did not begin arriving at the front in large numbers until mid-1918, but the American Expeditionary Force ultimately reached some 2 million troops. On April 2, 1964, the Soviet Union launches Zond-1. Zond-1 was a spacecraft of the Soviet Zond program. It was the second Soviet research spacecraft to reach Venus, although communications had failed by that time. It carried a 90-centimeter spherical landing capsule, containing experiments for chemical analysis of the atmosphere, gamma-ray measurements of surface rocks, a photometer, temperature and pressure gauges, and a motion-slash-rocking sensor in case it landed in water. On April 2, 1972, actor Charlie Chaplin returns to the United States for the first time since being labeled a communist during the Red Scare in the early 1950s. In 1972, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences offered Chaplin an honorary award, which Robinson sees as a sign that America wanted to make amends. Chaplin was initially hesitant about accepting but decided to return to the U.S. for the first time in 20 years. The visit attracted a large amount of press coverage and, at the Academy Awards Gala, he was given a 12-minute standing ovation, the longest in the Academy's history. Visibly emotional, Chaplin accepted his award for the incalculable effect he has had in making motion pictures the art form of this century. On April 2, 1973 is launched the LexisNexis Computerized Legal Research Service. LexisNexis is a corporation providing computer-assisted legal research, CALR, as well as business research and risk management services. During the 1970s, LexisNexis pioneered the electronic accessibility of legal and journalistic documents. As of 2006, the company had the world's largest electronic database for legal and public records-related information. On April 2, 1989, the ASUS Corporation is founded. ASUS Tech Computer Incorporated is a Taiwanese multinational computer and phone hardware and electronics company headquartered in Beidou District, Taipei, Taiwan. ASUS is the world's fifth largest PC vendor by unit sales as of January 2021. 
ASUS appears in Businessweek's InfoTech 100 in Asia's Top 10 IT Companies Rankings, and it ranked first in the IT hardware category of the 2008 Taiwan Top 10 Global Brand Survey, with a total brand value of $1.3 billion. ASUS has a primary listing on the Taiwan Stock Exchange under the ticker code 2357 and a secondary listing on the London Stock Exchange under a ticker codist. On April 2, 1992, the Mafia boss John Gotti is convicted of murder and racketeering and is later sentenced to life in prison in New York. Gotti and his brothers grew up in poverty and turned to a life of crime at an early age. Gotti quickly became one of the crime family's biggest earners and a protege of Gambino family under boss Aniello Della Croce, operating out of the Ozone Park neighborhood of Queens. Following the FBI's indictment of members of Gotti's crew for selling narcotics, Gotti began to fear that he and his brother would be killed by Castellano for dealing drugs. As this fear continued to grow, and amidst growing dissent over the leadership of the crime family, Gotti organized the murder of Castellano. On April 2, 2015, four men steal items worth up to £200 million from an underground safe deposit facility in London's Hatton Garden area in what has been called the largest burglary in English legal history. A gang including pensioners and serious criminals planned to carry out the biggest burglary in English legal history when they broke into a Hatton Garden security vault and stole £14 million worth of jewels, gold and cash, a court has heard. The claim was made by the prosecutor on the opening day of the trial of four men for the burglary in London's Diamond District over Easter weekend, during which the gang bored a hole through a thick concrete wall to access safe deposit boxes. Philip Evans told the jury at Woolwich Crown Court on Monday that 76-year-old Brian Reeder, the oldest of the four ringleaders and who has already pleaded guilty, was known as the master. When his home was raided, police found a book on the diamond underworld, a diamond tester, a diamond gauge, diamond magazines. John Collins, age 74, Daniel Jones, age 58, Terry Perkins, age 67 and Reeder have pleaded guilty to conspiracy to burgle with intent to steal jewelry. On this day event is an educational project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.